This metal is literally everywhere. In your phone, your car, even that soda can you're holding right now. But here's what's absolutely insane. Until 120 years ago, aluminum was actually more expensive than gold. Napoleon served his most important guests with aluminum cutlery, while everyone else got stuck with gold. But here's the crazy part. The process to make this cheap metal today? It's so energy intensive that we literally call aluminum solid electricity. And what I discovered about how this metal is actually made will blow your mind because it starts with exploding mountains and ends with a process so secret, most people have never seen it. The impossible metal. For thousands of years, aluminum was the holy grail of metallurgy. Ancient civilizations knew it existed. They could see traces of it in clay and rocks, but no one could extract it. It was like trying to catch lightning in a bottle. In 1825, Danish chemist Hans Christian Ørsted finally managed to isolate tiny amounts of aluminum. But the process was so complicated and expensive that aluminum became more precious than platinum. When the Washington Monument was completed in 1884, they capped it with a six-pound pyramid of pure aluminum, the largest piece of aluminum in the world at that time. But then, everything changed in 1886. Two young scientists working on opposite sides of the Atlantic, Charles Martin Hall in Ohio and Paul Heroult in France, independently cracked the code. This discovery didn't just change the metal industry, it changed the world. The hidden journey begins. This is the Huntley Mine in Australia, the largest bauxite mine on planet Earth. Every single day they extract enough ore here to fill 2,000 dump trucks. But here's what's wild. It takes four tons of this reddish rock to make just one ton of aluminum. And the process to extract it? It's like something out of a science fiction movie. First, they drill holes 30 feet deep into solid rock. Then they pack each hole with 700 to 900 tons of ammonium nitrate, the same explosive used to demolish skyscrapers. One explosion clears five acres of land and releases up to 100,000 tons of ore. The blast is so powerful it can be felt 10 miles away, and the dust cloud can be seen from space. But this is just the beginning of the journey. The $20 million shovel. Meet the world's most expensive shovel. It costs more than most people's houses. This beast can move one ton of rock in just three scoops, and it loads a 270-ton truck in under 60 seconds. These machines are engineering marvels. The bucket alone weighs 45 tons. That's heavier than most houses. The electric motors that power this shovel consume 6,000 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power 4,000 homes. But here's where it gets interesting. That reddish rock you see. It doesn't look anything like the shiny aluminum in your phone. So how do you transform a rock into one of the world's most used metals? The Bayer Process Alchemy in Action Welcome to what I call modern alchemy. Inside these massive rotating drums, something incredible happens. The bauxite gets crushed by enormous steel balls until it becomes a fine powder. These grinding mills are monsters. Each one is 40 feet long and 15 feet in diameter. Filled with 150 tons of steel balls, ranging from golf ball to bowling ball size. As the drum rotates, these balls cascade down, pulverizing the bauxite into particles smaller than flour. Then comes the magic. They mix this powder with caustic soda at temperatures hot enough to melt lead. This creates a chemical reaction that separates the aluminum oxide from everything else. The caustic soda solution is so corrosive it can dissolve glass, yet it selectively attacks only the aluminum-bearing minerals in the bioxite. The temperature reaches 270 degrees Celsius, hot enough to instantly vaporize water. But here's the mind-blowing part. When this solution cools down, it forms these perfect white crystals that look exactly like sugar. Except this sugar is actually alumina, 
the raw material for aluminum. The Hall Erul process, where lightning meets metal. Now we get to the really crazy part. These alumina crystals get shipped to smelting facilities that consume more electricity than entire cities. A single aluminum smelter uses as much electricity as a city of 300,000 people. That's why these facilities are built next to massive power sources, hydroelectric dams, nuclear plants, or dedicated power stations. Inside these electrolytic cells, they dissolve the alumina in molten cryolite at 1,750 degrees Fahrenheit. Then they run enough electricity through it to power a small town. The electricity literally rips apart the aluminum oxide molecules. The oxygen floats to the top and combines with carbon electrodes, creating CO2. But the aluminum? It sinks to the bottom as pure, molten metal. The electric current flowing through each cell is enormous, typically 150,000 to 300,000 amperes. That's 1,000 times more current than flows through your house's main electrical panel. The economics are insane. Here's what blew my mind. One third of aluminum's price is just the electricity bill. That's why aluminum smelters are built next to hydroelectric dams and why we call it solid electricity. To put this in perspective, producing one ton of aluminum requires about 13,500 kilowatt hours of electricity. That's enough energy to power an average American home for 15 months. In 2024 alone, the world produced 72 million tons of aluminum. China makes 60% of it all. That's 43 million tons from one country. But here's the kicker. To make all that aluminum, we had to process over 400 million tons of bauxite. That's like moving Mount Everest twice. The recycling revolution. But here's the beautiful part about aluminum. It's infinitely recyclable. That soda can you threw away yesterday? It could be back on store shelves in 60 days. And recycling aluminum uses just 5% of the energy needed to make it from scratch. That's why 75% of all aluminum ever produced is still in use today. This creates an interesting economic dynamic. As more aluminum enters the recycling stream, the energy intensity of aluminum production decreases. Some analysts predict that by 2050, recycled aluminum could make up 50% of global supply. The secret applications. But aluminum isn't just for cans and cars. Those brilliant silver flashes in fireworks? That's aluminum powder. Those perfect ski slopes when there's no snow? Aluminum particles help create artificial snow. And those incredible images from space telescopes? The mirrors are made from aluminum because it reflects light better than almost anything else. The mirrors in space telescopes are coated with aluminum just a few atoms thick. This coating reflects over 90% of visible light and maintains its reflectivity in the harsh environment of space. The environmental challenge. But this incredible process comes with a cost. Mining bauxite can disrupt entire ecosystems. The smelting process generates massive amounts of CO2, and the electricity demand is enormous. The carbon footprint of aluminum production is substantial. Each ton of primary aluminum generates about 12 tons of CO2 equivalent. That includes the electricity generation, the carbon anodes that get consumed in the process, and the transportation of materials. The good news? The industry is fighting back. Companies are investing billions in renewable energy to power their plants. Some are even experimenting with carbon-free smelting that could revolutionize everything. In Norway, aluminum smelters run entirely on hydroelectric power, making Norwegian aluminum some of the cleanest in the world. In Iceland, geothermal energy powers the smelting process. The future of aluminum. And the demand is only growing. Electric vehicles need lightweight materials. Aircraft manufacturers want stronger, lighter alloys. The space industry depends on aluminum's unique properties. 
Electric vehicle manufacturers are driving a revolution in aluminum alloys. Tesla's Model S body is 97% aluminum. The Ford F-150 Lightning uses aluminum extensively to offset the weight of its battery pack. The bauxite market is projected to hit $18.15 billion by 2030, growing at 2.6% annually. That's because aluminum isn't just a metal, it's the backbone of our modern world. The Innovation Pipeline The aluminum industry isn't standing still. Researchers are developing new extraction methods that could reduce energy consumption by 30%. Some companies are experimenting with bacteria that can extract aluminum from low-grade ores. One of the most promising developments is inert anode technology. Traditional aluminum smelting uses carbon anodes that get consumed in the process, releasing CO2. Inert anodes don't get consumed and produce oxygen instead of CO2. If perfected, this technology could eliminate 1.5 billion tons of CO2 emissions annually. The Revelation So the next time you pop open a soda can, remember this. You're holding the result of exploded mountains, molten chemistry, and enough electricity to power a city block. From a reddish rock in the Australian outback to the phone in your pocket, Aluminum's journey is one of the most incredible transformations in modern industry. It's proof that with enough ingenuity, energy, and determination, humans can literally transform rocks into the materials that build our future. And that makes me wonder, what other simple materials around us hide incredible secrets? Because if a basic soda can require exploding mountains and enough electricity to power a small city, Imagine what stories are hiding in the steel beams above your head, or the glass in your windows, or even the concrete under your feet. Every material in our modern world has an epic origin story. Every substance we take for granted required human ingenuity to discover, extract, and refine. Drop a comment below. What everyday material do you want me to investigate next? Because trust me, the stories behind our modern world are way more incredible than you think. The next time you look around your room, remember that you're surrounded by the products of some of the most extreme industrial processes on Earth. And that's just the beginning of what humans can achieve when we set our minds to transforming the raw materials of our planet into the building blocks of civilization.